GPX glass processors and LFS large fibre splicers use the Thorlabs Vitran FFS3 software to perform precision splicing, tapering and processing of glass fibres. This video will explain the features and function of the camera bar and the movement control bar in the FFS3 software. The camera bar can be used to set the various views that are used to align and inspect fibres. These are selected using the radio buttons. Front and back provide orthogonal side views of the fibres. Centre provides a third view from the top down. Left and right provide end views of the fibres, so that fibres with structure, such as polarisation maintaining fibre, can have their internal geometry aligned. When the objective lens is at the home position, the screen appears dark. When a view is selected, the lens moves forwards so that it is positioned over the fibres and the view will appear on screen. The autofocus button on the camera bar can be used to focus the fibres. Note that in back view it is the left hand fibre only that is brought into focus. The right fibre is focused in the front view. Alternatively, fibres can be focused using the focus slider on the camera bar. The auto exposure button on the camera bar can be used to set the exposure. The movement control bar allows manual control of the fibre holding blocks and splice head. The home button can be used to move the respective motors to known, datumed home positions. The left block control enables the user to move the position of the left fibre holding block. The number shows the position of the block in microns. Zero corresponds to the home position, where the block is positioned furthest from the splice head. The number can be selected directly and altered to change the position. The larger the number, the closer the left or right fibre holding block will move towards the centre of the machine and the splice head. Alternatively, the radio buttons allow the position to be changed in increments. The arrow keys are used to move the fibre holding block. Course changes the position by 100 microns. medium by 10 microns and fine by 1 micron. If the offset button is checked, the position number changes to zero and the number displayed is the position of the fibre holding block relative to this offset position. Positive numbers are defined as inwards towards the splice head. To return to the absolute value of the fibre holding block position, uncheck the offset box. Movement controls for the right fibre holding block position work in the same way. Large changes of position can be performed using the slider bar. With the sync block box checked, both blocks will move together with the same relative distance and orientation between the two blocks maintained. The offset and sync buttons work in a similar way for all the motors on the movement control bar. The movement controls for the splice head work in a similar way. Positive distances move the splice head right and negative left. The pivot controls on the movement control bar can be used to adjust where the fibres appear vertically on screen. The controls are similar to those described previously. The fibre's vertical position on screen can be adjusted with the radio buttons. The slider bar can be used to make large changes in position. Due to the optical configuration of the unit, the back view will only enable changes in vertical position of the left fibre to be seen on screen. If the right fibre pivot control is changed, the fibre will move, but in back view it will be seen on screen 
as the right fibre focus changing. Front view must be selected in order to see the right fibre change its vertical position on screen when the right pivot control is adjusted. Similarly, vertical movement of the left fibre as its pivot control is adjusted will not be seen on screen in front view. When aligning fibres manually using the movement control bar, it is important to understand that adjustments to the focus and vertical position of the left fibre should be performed in back view, while for the right fibre, they should be carried out in front view. The rotation controls work in a similar way. These rotate the fibre holding block so that any internal structure in the fibres can be aligned. These controls are usually used in the right and left end views, where the effect of the rotation is seen most clearly. Note, if the sync box is checked for rotation, the blocks move so that they rotate together in the same direction, and no torque is applied across a spliced fibre. Now you understand the features and functions of the camera and movement control bars, you will be able to use them to manually align and splice fibres. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us either at techsupport at thorlabs.com or vitran.uk at thorlabs.com.